Hello everyone, Sam here with yet another video on Sam's AWS learning series and this time it's gonna be AWS Elastic Transcoder. If you are preparing for Solution Architect Associate exam, you just need to know the basics and if you are a beginner, I'm gonna walk you through the basics. As always, here are the reference links, you can find them in the description below. Elastic Transcoder is a media transcoding in the cloud. You might ask what is this media transcoding? Conversion of a media into different formats that is known as media transcoding and why would you require that you know this right nowadays uh, people have different uh, sort of end devices someone will be having uh, smartphones someone will have tablets and then PCs even if you consider uh, smartphones you have a wide variety of them and uh, the capability media playback capability it might uh, differ in order to make a single media file to play or to have the support of playback in different variety of these devices, we need a media transcoding. It's designed to be highly scalable, easy to use and a cost effective way for developers and businesses to convert or I'll rather use the term transcode media files from their uh, source format into versions that will play back on devices such as smartphones, tablets and PCs. We use presets, presets are nothing but uh, settings which will differ based on the end device you wanted to play it on. And what are the benefits of uh, Amazon Elastic Transcoder? See first of all transcoding it's not an easy job. As you know a developer's primary work does not involve uh, transcoding files obviously. They will be you know, focusing on building the application and then if they wanted to perform media transcoding operation they have to buy a software which is uh, costly and then they have to manage it, they have to understand how it works, creating the presets, it's another headache and then scaling up and scaling down for uh, customer workload needs, that's gonna be an another uh, challenge. So with Elastic Transcoder service from Amazon, they don't have to buy a software, we have this web based console, service API or SDK to create our transcoding jobs and you just need to specify an input file and then you have a preset or the transcoding settings and then finally you can you know choose your output file that uh, simple it is on top of that Amazon does provide features such as support for captions thumbnail generation etc I'll quickly show you how to use Amazon Elastic Transcoder lab setup as well and there we will be creating a pipeline pipelines are queues that manage transcoding jobs transcoding jobs that's what uh, gets the job done we have another terminology presets these are the templates of settings that is required for a different sort of uh, media files from one format to another it keeps on varying based on the output file or the input file let me give you a simple example you have this 1080p video full HD and you are looking to downsize it and the end user will be having a device wherein uh, 720p is uh, supported so your input is uh, 1080p full HD your output it's 720p HD the preset will be different and then if there is another requirement for uh, converting the same media file 1080p full HD into 360p video presets will differ right because input stays the same but output differs based on that uh, you have to you know tweak your settings and we we get to choose a wide variety of options within Amazon Elastic Transcoder itself and if you have some custom requirements you can you know do it as well we can integrate Amazon Elastic Transcoder with notification service such as uh, SNS so this is the plan we'll create a transcoding pipeline and we'll specify an input uh, Amazon S3 bucket wherein we'll keep our media file and we will have to create another uh, S3 bucket which will uh, store the output files and we will have to create an IAM rule which will be used by uh, Elastic Transcoder service it will have access to the bucket and then it will have the access to write the output file into the output bucket we will create a transcoding job by specifying the input file, output file and uh, transcoding preset to use as I said you can choose uh, from a set of predefined transcoding presets or you can uh, have your own custom transcoding preset optionally you can specify thumbnails and job specific transcoding parameters like frame rate and resolution once Amazon starts processing the transcoding of uh, 
media files you can see the status of transcoding jobs via notifications you can query the status of transcoding jobs you can manage transcoding jobs by stopping starting or cancelling them so this is how it looks like a typical uh, elastic transcoder setup we have the input bucket over here we have the output buckets over here in the input bucket we will be placing our uh, initial video file we will have to create a transcoding pipeline we can have n number of transcoding pipelines which will do the work parallelly we were talking about the scale up and scale down behavior right so that's what these are used for parallel processing yes amazon does support this once you select the preset and other uh, optional items transcoding job will kick in and then you will be able to retrieve the output file on the output bucket now let's go ahead and do a lab setup a simple one once you log into AWS console, navigate to S3. Let's create a simple bucket. I'll call the bucket as Elastic Transcoder Sam. I'm gonna click on Next. I'll navigate to that bucket. I'll place my input file. Now that the file upload is complete, I'll go back to the AWS management console and I'll navigate to Elastic Transcoder. Navigate to Elastic Transcoder. So here you have this uh, crisp description of uh, the technologies we use in the Amazon Elastic Transcoder setup. What is a pipeline? Jobs, presets. Everything is available here. Let's start with uh, creating a pipeline. As I told you, pipeline is a queue for your transcoding jobs. You can have a number of uh, pipelines in a single AWS account. Let's call this as a demo. You have to select your input bucket where the file is present. Let's select the newly created bucket name. IAM role you can go with a default one and then you get to choose your output bucket file just to make it simple I'm gonna select the same bucket elastic transcoder Sam thumbnail let's uh, select the same bucket and then notification it's completely optional you have this uh, optional notification setup as well upon uh, these events if the job is pro progressing if it is on warning if it is completed if it has an error you can have these SNS topics to send you notifications encryption again it is optional I'm gonna click on a create pipeline now that our uh, pipeline is created let's uh, go ahead and uh, set up the job I'll click on jobs I'll click on create a new job pipeline you'll have to select the newly created pipeline which is demo input key you can select a prefix of the file decryption parameter since we have not enabled the encryption I'm not gonna you know do it output this is where you get to choose the predefined presets you have a wide variety of options to choose from your output key you can define it let's say out dot mp4 if you're selecting yes here elastic transcoder amazon elastic transcoder it will create a thumbnail and it will put it in the same bucket since we have selected the same bucket for output input and then thumbnail creation output rotation you don't have to select it encryption parameters again you have those uh, options watermark user metadata you have you can provide uh, these values I'm gonna click on create new job now the job is created let's uh, go back to jobs again and then uh, let's make a query make sure that uh, you are uh, selecting the pipeline and then hit on search you can see that the job is completed 
you have this uh, first input key which is test input dot mp4 which I have placed in my input bucket number of input number of output uh, the status everything is visible over here preset uh, this is the place wherein you will uh, see all these uh, predefined uh, presets if you wanted to create your own preset yes you have this option you can click on create new preset wherein uh, you get to specify things like bit rate resolution so many custom uh, information once done let's go back to pipeline let's uh, select this and click on remove if you have any questions or queries post them as a uh, comments or uh, get over to my facebook page thanks for watching this is sam signing off